Hello friends of .NET, I'm Emil Landruf and you can find me on Twitter at Terrajobs. In this video I give you a quick demo of my tool Git iStage. So I'm a command line aficionado and so that means I use Git exclusively from the command line because I find the tool to be very fast, very reliable, very predictable. My only challenge is sometimes I don't want to commit everything I've done, I only to commit part of what I've done. That's because that's, uh, you know, the way I think, I guess. Normally not a big deal because you can just use git add and then just select the files you want to commit. However, sometimes, and you can see this in my case here, I only have one file touched. However, in this one file, I have two kinds of changes. The first change I have is uh, I've changed the property diagnostics from an enumerable to a read-only collection just so that you cannot cast away the uh, read-onlyness um, and just add it directly. And then the second change that I have here is I have extracted a method. And so I would like to commit these things independently as two separate commits. The problem is once you have them in this stage, yeah, you can edit the file by hand, but that's not really convenient. You can also use git add p, which is basically the patch editor for the, for the staging. I find this super awkward to use because it basically is a yes, no question here. But if the changes start to touch, it actually asks you to edit the patch by hand, which I don't know, I cannot think in patches, so that's just not how I work. So I wrote myself this tool called git iStage. Now when you launch it, it will look exactly like git diff, so it has a very familiar look and feel. Um, you can navigate uh, the currently selected line using your arrow key. Um, you can also jump directly to the individual GIFs li uh, diff lines using the bracket key. And should you have touched more than one file, the left and right arrow keys will navigate between files. So now I can just select the lines I want to stage. So I want to stage this line here, hit S. I want to stage this line here, I hit S. Um, same here. I want to stage both of these files, uh, you know, all the lines that are touching. So I just hit Shift S. And uh, I don't want to stage those guys, so I just keep pressing my diff button. And then I'm at the end, so I think this is what I want to stage. Now when you look at the top left corner here, you see the W, which means you're seeing the working copy. You can hit T to toggle into the staged view. So now you're seeing all the changes that are about to be committed. Um, and this looks about right. So in order to quit the tool, you can just hit escape or um, uh, Q. You can also unstage in this view. So let's say we want to not, uh, we think that maybe this using here is not relevant, so we can just unstage this view. And now let's say this is what, what we want to commit. Now you might just think, oh my god, he just made it not compile. Um, all right, let's find out. So we hit escape. I can just hit uh, .NET build. The problem is, it will build now, because while we only selected parts of the changes to be committed, the working copy still has what we selected for committing, meaning the stage, and all the other changes. You see this here in red, right? So we still have pending changes in the working copy. So how do we get to a view where the working copy matches what's in the stage? And in git i stage, I have this character combination alt s, which will basically take everything you have currently not staged, it leaves the stage intact, but everything that is not staged are just stashed meaning they're put on the side, removed from the working copy. So if I now run .NET build again, now we get our error that we expected because the using disappeared. In order to get the other changes back, all I have to do is git stash pop, because that's where alt s put it. I can run git i stage again. I can stage this one change. Now we believe it's correct. So let me, let me hit alt s again. All right, now .NET build hopefully succeeds and it does. So we can now commit our first change and say, replace I enumerable of T with read only collection of T. There goes our first commit. Now we bring back all the remaining changes we have. I run git i stage again. And I can say, all right, I want to stage all of this. So shift S, um, all of this method here. All right, shift S. All right, this looks good. Alt S.
Now let's run .NET build again. Works. So we commit directly from here and say git commit. Um, let's call this uh, extract method, let's say. Git stash bob followed by git i stage. And now we have a change that is just used for debugging. We, uh, we don't actually want to commit this. So what I can also do right from here is I can just hit R, which stands for reset. So when you do that, it will remove the change from your working copy. Now you want to be very careful with R, um, because when you do that, the change is literally gone. It's not stashed, it's not committed on the side, it's literally removed. So if you hit this, be sure you really don't want to see these changes again. There's also other shortcuts you can have. Um, let me just quickly give you a quick rundown by undoing what we have. You can also toggle the view to full views using the, uh, the, uh, the backslash key, which shows you the entire file in case you ever need this. You can also use the plus and arrow keys to remove or add the number of context lines you want to see. And with W, you can also view white space if you care. Uh, the other thing that is interesting is once you have your commit crafted from here, um, you can also commit it right from here by just using the letter C. It immediately puts you into your favorite commit editor, so you can craft your message uh, right from there. Let's call this guy uh, replace innumerable. We've already done that. Now I do my second one. Extract method. That's also a way to work in case you know that the changes are safe. All right, I hope you find this tool useful. If so, um, give my GitHub repo maybe a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, comment on the video or file issues in my GitHub repository. All right, happy staging.